Welcome back, friends and scoundrels. I'm Bran. And I'm... And Sarah's off somewhere being a kid, not doing her apprenticeship, in internship, whatever I called it last time. Um, anyways, today we are continuing the Hans, Hans, there he is, franchise at Maple Lane for reasons that you'll find out in a moment. Um, fun Girls Game, produced by Van Ryder Games, and... There's a link down below for the individual people. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And if you could do us another favor, after watching this all the way through, obviously, um, leave a comment down below, things that you think might help us out in a wrap-up reveal at the end of the franchise. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And I don't ever guarantee that any of your stuff's going to make it in, just because I have to be discerning. So, anyways... Let's get to the table. Lori had finally made up her mind. She was going to ask Lucy to marry her, but first she wanted to get Lucy's parents' blessing. She knew she didn't need it, but it was important to her, so she and Lucy took a trip to visit her childhood home on Maple Lane. It was the perfect weekend. While Lucy and her mom were out, she asked Lucy's father for his blessing over a glass of bourbon, and he said yes. Later that night, sitting on the deck with Lucy, Lori decided this was the moment. She reached into her pocket and realized she had left the ring inside. Hold on a second, babe. Lori ran inside to grab the ring from her suitcase, but when she returned, Lucy's chair was turned over and she was nowhere to be found. She heard a muffled scream from the street and immediately ran to it, fear gripping her heart. There, at the end of the street, stood Hans, holding Lucy up high, her legs helplessly pinwheeling in the air. He seemed to be taunting her. Daring her to come and rescue Lucy. You want to finish this once and for all? She screamed at the top of her lungs. Hans sent Lucy down and simply stood there, unmoving. Hold on, Lucy. I'm coming for you. Hans didn't move a muscle. This ends tonight, you piece of shit. Hans stood and waited for her. All right. And here we are. Ready for uh, the franchise finale for Hans. Finally. 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 <laughs> so many finals in this final girl game. Um, so I suppose we should get into the special rules, starting with Killer as per usual. Hans has no special rules. He's basic. Uh, Maple Lane. Special setup. Set up the game as normal with the following changes when playing Maple Lane. There are four item decks for Maple Lane. Form the item decks following the normal rules, but make four decks of three item cards instead. The top item card for each deck is revealed as normal. There is one deck for each quadrant of the house. Northwest, Southwest, Northeast, Southeast. Include both convenience action cards in your action tableau. Special rules. The normal and safe spaces are all considered street spaces as well as the intersection space. There are no special rules for these spaces, but some cards will refer to them. House spaces and quadrants. House spaces are a new type of space on the Maple Lane location board. They are located in one of four quadrants, northwest, southwest, northeast, and southeast. And each quadrant has three houses for a total of 12 houses. Each house may be searched and count as a search space. They are both colored orange to remind you of this. When a house is successfully searched, draw the item cards from the item deck for the house's quadrant, then place an X token on the house that you searched. It may no longer be searched. When a search yields multiple items, choose which you want and place the other on top of the quadrant's item deck face up or on the bottom face up, down as normal. In the rare event that an item needs to be added to an item deck, but all the houses in that quadrant have been searched, i.e. every house has an X token, add it to the deck for the closest quadrant that hasn't been fully searched. Since the residents of Maple Lane are so suspicious you cannot enter an occupied house, one or more victims in the house using walk, sprint, or any other cards that allow movement, they will have to be convinced ah, to let you into their house. See below. Panicking victims and enemies are not restricted, so they may move into an occupied house freely. If the house is unoccupied, normal movement rules apply and you can enter and exit the space as normal. 
Convince Action Cards and Entering Occupied Houses. There is a new action called Card Convince, which all this time that I was setting up and all this stuff, I thought it was convenient. <laughs> this is awfully convenient, just walking into this house and getting a baseball bat. There's a new action card called Convince, used only when playing on Maple Lane. To enter an occupied house from an adjacent street space, you must successfully convince your neighbor to let you in using a Convince action card. Convince cards can only be used to enter an occupied house. To exit a house, whether it is occupied or not, simply use the normal movement rules. Convince cards have an additional success line for when you get three or more successes on a horror rule. Scenario rules. Found a girl. Lori. Set up. A quiet place. Items. Set aside the three crucifix cards. Shuffle the remaining item cards together and deal out nine. Then shuffle these cards with the crucifix cards and deal out the four item decks. Do not reveal the top card of each item deck. Hence why I did not do that earlier. Uh, events. Set up the event deck as normal. I did that except I pulled the boyfriend card and for this scenario that just doesn't make sense because I'm coming here to propose to Lucy's dad for some reason. So that came up first, so I went ahead and pulled it out. If we run into something else that's similar later on, I will uh, remove that as well. Maple Lane Terror Cards. We're all going to die. It's too quiet. It came right through the yard. Better than through the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your domain? Yes. Haunts Terror Cards, seven of them. Holy Speed, Unholy Rage, Taking Survivors, He Just Keeps Coming, times two. Hans Wants Me, times two. Set aside Unholy Speed and Unholy Rage, shuffle the other eight Terror Cards, and then place Unholy Speed and Unholy Rage on top of the Terror Deck in any order. Dark Power, Dark Obsession. Finale, Bloodbath. Special Rules. Place the Girlfriend Event card from Camp Happy Trails above the board and place her special victim meeple in the same space as Hans. During the, 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 during the first two rounds, the Girlfriend cannot be attacked. At the start of the third round, she can be targeted and attacked as normal. In order to attack Hans, you must have a crucifix. Right, so let's remember to do our event cards right from the start this time, shall we? If we must. Girlfriend, she's cute, funny, and the biggest badass I've ever known. The victim closest to you is not your girlfriend. She will follow you into the killer space. While she is in your space, you get to roll plus one for each horror roll. If the girlfriend dies while in your space, five horror. If the girlfriend leaves play, discard this card. Our starting event. This looks promising. Fire. Do you smell smoke? Better than buttered toast. Roll a die and place fire token in one of them. Two, the boyfriend's house. All right. Um, I think you mean the girlfriend's house. Yeah. House on fire. Well, it's labeled boyfriend's house, though, so. Any victims in the house or that panic into the house are killed. You or enemies in the house take one damage. The house may no longer be entered or searched. So we'll just go ahead and put that there too. Horde where it's supposed to be. We're gonna start off. I gotta go save Lucy. Move up to one space, pick an LT, and lose two time. We're off to a brilliant start. <laughs> oh, and we're going to do that again. Oh, well, there's that. Move up to one space. Lose the time. All right. And, um, I'm going to call it there. So I'd like to hold on to some cards of this game. Or should I go with my strategy from last time and just use everything all up at every round? Well, last time. <laughs> but, but I didn't do it. Because I didn't take that sprint. Um, I'm going to call it there. Take sprint. And 
close call from a three time. Like we're gonna need them. Need what? Close call. Yeah. We'll go ahead and do that. All right. Uh, killer phase. He doesn't do anything. Well, we can start with unholy speed. Hans moves one additional space for each boot. Nobody to panic. So nobody died, and Lucy's being held hostage. Nothing to upkeep. So let's try to get her out of here. Okay, so we're doing our sprint. Now, now you do it. One, two, I'm coming in hot and heavy, and I'm going to drop kick him for effect to get him to drop Lucy. And I'm going to shove her out of out of here because we determined that that can work like that. Sure. And... I'm going to up my time. He finally saved your girlfriend. Yeah. So, anyways, um, uh, let's go ahead and try to do a focus real quick. What can it hurt right now? Not currently. I don't like this. <laughs> How good is Kelly? Gotta yeah. get all the good rolls out of the way. All right. I jinxed it when I said we were gonna need close call. Okay, so I'm going to take a retaliate for four. These and then distraction and a convince for four more. And take a search. Okay. Reset. His turn. Well, I'm here, and he's going to attack me. But I'm going to retaliate. Uh, pay my two time. I'll take. Not all damage. Do two damage. Set this gone. Oh no, shoot. What? Fuck a stupid freaking rule. Which rule? We need a crucifix. Does that count for the well whatever? Okay. He doesn't take any damage. So it's his turn. And I stopped him. So we pulled on Holy Rage, big surprise. Hans does an additional damage for each knife. Okay. Panic phase, nobody to panic, because there's nobody there but me, and nobody died. Surprising. And then, upkeep phase, nothing to upkeep. Oh, that's good. Oh no, I used those. All right, all right. Going to go into this house. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah. And going to oh, like I thought I took a search. <laughs> Do a search here. We are in the northeast quadrant. Hmm. Uh, where are we? Northeast quadrant. So, yep. Um, I failed. So I can still take the top item card at your space. Two horror and two time. Archery bow. Nice. Archery bow cannot modify an action card and must be used without one. It costs 
two time to fire an arrow at a street space within range. Just need to have a crucifix to take to it. Right. And then we're going to try to do a distraction. Oh, look it up. Did I lose my time? I was just going to notice that. I, wasn't... I don't think I did. Well, I don't. Good. I did my post call. My what? And my search. Is it worth the gamble? What are you contemplating doing? A distraction, which could give me two time back, or one time, or I could lose all my time. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> so I'm going to take a close call and a focus. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Okay. And this turn. Uh, nobody to attack in a space. Terror card. Now we're getting going. Hans wants me. He's always wanted me. Target final girl. Move, move, and attack. Oh, jeez. So that is three health to me. Ouch. You're doing well. So good well. I believe in you. Jeez. And did you do your extra unholy rage? Yeah. Okay. That's why it's three, not two. All right. So panic phase, nobody to panic. Upkeep phase, nothing to upkeep. Unless I want to put my bow and arrows away. But I kind of don't. Do, do a walk. But I get three dice now. Yay. Well, I only move one anyways, so unless I want to go to another house, or unless I want to go to one of these houses, but I think I'll just come out here. And I'm going to do a convince. Try to enter here. I'll take it. Give up those. So I get three. So with the convince, I get to, on three successes, enter an adjacent house. Adjacent? Oh, <laughs> Enter an adjacent house. You may take the top item card. If you do, mark the house with an X token. I'm going to come in here. Please tell me you have a crucifix. Please, please, please tell me you have a crucifix. That's something. <laughs> Bible. <laughs> I'll just appeal to the religious side. Surely they'll let me live. Plus two horror dice when resolving a convince action card. It turns me into a Jehovah's Witness. Apparently a really good one. Or Mormon. Oh, I forgot to reduce my time for my walk. I think I'm going to do my distraction now. Um, using a close call to reroll one of these. I'll just give those two up. I'm doing it this time. I'm going all in. All right. That's two successes on my distraction. The horror goes up two. I get two time out of it. Good enough. And I guess I'm going to stop there. So I got nothing else to do. What? No, no. Take a close call. And this other convince card. Five. I should take a guard. Two. Well, 
And I took the thing here so I can't search that half. I'm going to go ahead and take my other guard. Why not? That's about all I can do. But now he has to go kill somebody. Why are you bored over there? Yeah, I haven't read any gruesome books yet. <laughs> Alright. So there's nobody here for him to kill because I ran away from him. Coward. He just keeps coming. Increase horror. Uh, target a victim. Moo. So you just move two and do a murder. Who's going to follow me over here and murder this person in front of me? Bruce stood in the hallway with his baseball bat, ready to defend his family. He hit Hans on the shoulder with the bat, and Hans shrugged it off. Hans backed him down the hall and took another swing, striking him over the head. Hans stopped for a moment and calmly placed his hammer with both hands. Bruce gulped, and Hans brought his hammer straight down into Bruce's skull. Grumpy watermelon sound. All right. Nobody to panic. Nothing to upkeep. Go for a little stroll, shall we? Hmm. Moon space. Cool. And the time. Okay. Um. Take. I'm not going to do anything else because all I've got is convincing guard and I'm not adjacent enough to anything. Oh, I searched this one, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you got your bow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I want to take my close call. All these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Leave focus and my weak attack maybe for now six seven until I figure out exactly what I'm doing. I need searches and a sprint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll take this just in case. Okay. And Hans, nobody to kill there, because he already did that. He just keeps coming. Or up one. Target a victim. Move. He gets two boot. Two movement and a stab. Yes. Okay. Um jeez. Oh, I did put these away. I didn't forget to put them away. I saved that for while you're reading Gruesome Deaths, so. Did you kill somebody? No. He didn't quite get to them. I see where he's going, so I'm going to try to beat him to the punch. I'm going to give up a guard and focus. Another success. Now I can move up to three. One, two, three. I'm going to push past him and try to walk them over. Oh, we have to do that. All right, you guys get out of here. This isn't safe. Black party has been canceled. All right, so let's take our time back. And... Should I do some horror management? I'll take free action card. Or move a space. Oh, I did take a search. Is that one healing? That is one healing. I'm I'm kind of running on using the third die right now, though. Yeah. It's a gamble, but... I would move and search if you had a search card. Well, I've also got that convince card. That'll let me into this house, and I should be able to, theoretically, with five dice. Theoretically. I'm going to, I'm going to get some horror management. 
I'll save that move or take a card later. All right, we're gonna do our convince action. This is the most dice I've got in the roll in this game. That's three. Let me in, let me in. There's a mini sack out here. And again, I get to enter adjacent house and take the top item card. They have a megaphone. Once per action phase, you may move any victim on the board one space. And then target and move me. Makes sense. Megaphone. Hey, you. Go that way. Not that way. The other way. I'm going to go ahead and take the megaphone in my hand. And until I'm ready to start shooting him, I will leave the bow in the back. Except now I don't have a lock. Boo. Don't you gotta wait till up upkeep phase to do that? No. When you gain an item, you can swap them around. Although with walk, I can just walk them out and get them out of here, so. Okay. I want to. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that earlier. It's okay that that one's on fire anyways. It's not likely to get up there. <laughs> okay. Um, am I doing anything else? So I didn't lose any time from anything, did I? I did, but I gained it back, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to stop here. Now... Another convince. You've got to find that crucifix. Um, I think I might wait for them to try to go over here mm. and just do a normal search. Oh, I'm going to take a distraction. Eight cards. Um, I should take a sprint and take that one. Okay. Um... Hans. Hans. Nobody in his space. Hans wants me. He's always wanted me. Target the final girl. Move two. So it gives him a total of four spaces. And a stab. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got a thing for that. Uh, do a guard. Put rest in the focus. So we can ignore all damage. Maybe. Do I need to do that? How much is he doing right now? One, two, three. Yes, I do. <laughs> Today, Hans. Or at least not right now. Maybe later. <laughs> Let's reschedule this. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, so that was his turn. Nobody did panic, so nobody died. Nothing to upkeep at the moment. So we are going to oh actually. That's where my other guard went. I gave it up earlier. Ah, oh, that's right, I can do that. Um my turn, we're going to do a walk. That'll do, Peggy. We'll move up to one space, down a time. Get out of here, go! Okay, then we're going to move, we're going to use our move one space. Come over here, do search. We're going to use our close call. A close call. Oh, geez. I don't think he's got anything he's going to come for me. Let's use this. No. Weak attack in close call. In close call. To get us back out of that. Um, take the top item card at your space. Finally! 
Ah, oh, that's BS. Uh, crucifix. Hey, shut up. It works in the movies. Discard to ignore any horror level increase or end an enemy's movement when we're in an adjacent space. But I just have to have custody of it, right? Custody of the crucifix? Yeah. In order to attack him, you must have a crucifix. You have to have won it in the divorce? Okay. And then, let me go ahead and try it now. I'm going to go for a distraction. We're going big or going home this round. I'm not using those dice. They're being bad. Can't hold your dice. Right. So that is one success. So four and a time back. Do I want to run or do I just want to stay here? I think I'm just going to stay here. Okay. Two. Four time. I think. Just take a card guard. Just take a card guard. Card guard? Card guard? And search the space. You can do that during the upkeep phase. It's not a big deal. Um, I want to also take pick me too. What the hell? Okay. Hunts. Uh, nowhere to go. Nobody to kill. Came right through the yard. Target a victim. Move two or move one. One two. Stab. If the killer is in a house. Move it to any other house in the quadrant. Oh, with a victim. Oh, never mind. It's done that. So I came outside to find a victim. And uh, target a victim, move, and step. Oh, target a victim and step. Event card. Put me in the burbs. Grilling, chilling, and good time feeling. Place four new victims in any house that contains at least one victim. If none do, place them in the intersection. Do you want it? That's a good question. I think I'm going to be a little bit thematic and they're going to be up here because he has had no interest in that area. And if he heard a party going on, he would have gone up there. Right? Hans likes to. This card, this card. And that's that card. Despite everything, this one's not going nearly as bad as the other ones have. No, I haven't had to read like many deaths. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not doing it on purpose. What am I even here? Who even knows? Heavy scent. No. All right. Um. What? Are, oh. Um. Panic phase. Nobody died. Nobody's in his space. Finally remembering to do this the way that I want to, and we're not able to do it. So upkeep phase. I'm gonna swap my megaphone for. My archery bow, and I am. Oh, got it. Set that thing. Maybe I don't want to do that. I don't think. Maybe I'll get lucky. All right. Um, we're just gonna go right into mine. I'm gonna do a springy sprint. Killed everybody. They deserve it. You give up one of my convinces and a focus for a success. And I need one, two, three, and we're going to do a walk. I'm just going to reroll that whole thing. One. That one doesn't count. That's what I get for that. That is what you get for that. Um. Uh. <laughs> oh, the choices. So you take the two lost time. I suppose I could just give these up and then carry on next time. Yeah, let's do that. 
I'm going to do that. So we're moving one space and losing the time. I am going to call this person out of their house with my megaphone. And he's going to move one space. And And that's that. And I am now out of cards. I don't think I lost my screen because I sprinted over there, right? So I should take guard and take close calls. So that's all for time. Ugh. Have I done it? Working on it. There's nobody in space with me. Target a victim. Oh. Target a victim. We're all gonna die. He just watched me pull this person out of the house. He's going to move here and kill them. Ouch. Johnny, I'm telling you, we're all gonna die. Kimmy said through tears. We should just give up. No way I'm giving up, Johnny said defiantly. He opened the front door and there stood Hans, dripping with fresh blood. Shoot. Johnny said as Hans Cleaver went clean across his gut and his innards spilled out like hot soup. Cool. And then we're going to target a victim. Move. One, two. And stab again. Brought attention to the park. I did. He's found the party. That did not work out in my favor. If no victims were killed, increased blood too, but there was. I got a increase for that one. Okay. Freddy, please don't look behind you, Emily pleaded. Freddy did as she said and closed his eyes, embracing his fate. Emily watched with tears streaming down her defeated face as Freddy's head exploded with the fatal force of Hans' hammer. Oof. That's what you get for making out outside in the party. All right. So that was the killer phase. Time for everybody to panic. I can't see nothing. Okay, those two are frozen with fear. That one's out here. And that one is also frozen with fear. Oh, good. Got that, though. Upkeep phase. We're just going to stay where we are with our stuff. There's nothing else to upkeep, right? Because that fire didn't have a key. Not that it matters, because. So I saw this person run out of the house. Hey, you should get out of here real quick. And they're going to leave. I'm going to take free action card. Worth two. I'm going to take a search. Hunt's going to come out here, though. That's so close. I'm almost there. Almost. But I saved all these people, too. Technically. For now. For now. <laughs> Alright, we're going to walk into this house. Maybe. Yes. Up to two spaces. There's a time. Then, we're going to do a search. Going to give up those two cards to get full success. Where are we at? Northwest. Ah, crucifix and some lucky dice. I don't want either of those. I'll take those. Want and that one has been searched. But now, oh, no, nope, this one. But now I know that I don't need to go to the party and search. And I'm going to go ahead and do a focus while I still have all these dice. Mm. No, I should hold on to that. It's one success, so horror down. I need down now. What? I need to change my 
That's a dumb idea. Was it a dumb idea? Let me go ahead and give up those cards. So that will give me plus two time. And we're still down one. No. Mm, forgot I took those lucky dice, so I might be okay. Um, one, two, is there to retaliate, maybe? And sweet, I think. And to convince. We'll figure out what we're doing from there. All right. Haunts. So nobody in his space to kill. Save them. It's too quiet. Or up one. Glad I used that focus. Target me. Move two. If the killer is in the same space as you, increase war. Oh, geez. About to start getting real. <laughs> all get real. It's been pretend up to this point. Okay. So, so panic phase, nobody panic. Uh, I'm not going to upkeep anything just yet. So, we'll go ahead and put all this stuff away now. And we are going to do a sprint. One, two, I want to be three. We'll just take the two spaces. One, two. And we'll lose the time. And we are to call this person out. Calling him out. And then we're going to try to go for a nice little stroll. Did you call them with your megaphone? I did. Oh, yeah. So he's going to come out. You're welcome. To me, get some extra movement, but I walked two spaces. I'm gonna get them out of here and heal myself. Flip it over. I'm working on it. Touching me. I think this is a first. <laughs> Lori, whenever you are in the same space as an enemy and inflict damage, do an additional damage. For each addition, for each additional victim saved, uh, I gain a ton. Really could have used that in some of these other ones. He could have killed off. I win. And then, I guess that's all I'm going to do for now. I've got to retaliate. Um, I should take these. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, and uh, we'll take a guard for now. I'm really hoping that I can get another weapon at one of these houses. All right, killer phase. Nobody formed to kill here. Taking souvenirs. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, target, move two. And stab two. So we are going to go back to the party. One, two. Um, and three. Three. Oops. And we are killing two people. We're up on. And our dark power is out now. Dark obsession. Whenever Hans attacks you at least once, he attacks an additional time. And then for each... Victim killed during the killer phase, plus one bloodlust. And just like that, I'm down to one die from three. 
Hans had broken most of Jenny's bones, and she lay in front of him trying to shuffle away. He grabbed her by the face and shoved his cleaver into her face. He removed her eye, placing the specimen into a small leather pouch as she wailed in agony. Ooh, it's a little hostile. Hostile. Not hostile. Hostile. Okay. Um. So, that was the killer's face? Yep. Um, time for panic yep. phase. And she is going to run out into the street half blind. Now, upbeat phase. Okay. But we've gone through the terror deck, so now we're on the finale. Bloodlust. Target victims, move, double stab. Yeah. Pretty pretty simple and straightforward. This is going to go on a murder spree. So much stabbing. So much stabbing. All right. Um, that is that. I thought I saw some people over here. I want to go check out their house. No, I don't want to do that yet. We're back to our old haunts game. Trying to manage horror. How do you pig? He prefers to be called Hans. <laughs> now we're going to go for a while. And one. Time. Try to convince these folks to let me in. Nope, I only get four. Let me in, let me in. I really need some help. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chin. Oh, come on. Please, please, please. Oh, my gosh. You can huff and puff all you want, but you ain't coming in. Try it again. There we go. Please, please, please. I've got time. <laughs> Not really a point in your favor. Oh, shoot. I forgot to move her up. Yep. I'm going to see her from a window after I'm done with this. Where am I at? Northeast? A pitchfork. Discard any time to prevent the damage from a single attack. It'll do in a pinch. That would have sounded so much cooler if it was called a pitch pinch fork. All right, I'm gonna retroactivate that. I'm sorry. It's not gonna make much difference here, but actually, it's not gonna make much difference anyways at the moment. All right. So I tell this person to leave. Get out of here. Dude, I see you standing there. One eye. It's your one eye. You should get out of here. Will do. He hurt you. He did. While we're here, may as well try to heal up a little bit. Those two get two hearts back. That's something at least. And that's all I can do now. One, two, three. I'm going to give up my guard by time back and take a furious strike. All right. Hans is going to target a victim, and he gets to move up to six spaces. One, two, three, four, and a double choppy choppy. Kelly went out on her porch after the rain to check the meter. One and a half inches. Nice. A shadow moved behind her, and she jumped. 
A tall man, like a butcher, stood behind her with a cleaver. In one swing, he chopped almost completely into her neck, and her head hung down over her body like a scarecrow. To take for that purpose, at least. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me. All right. Panic face. Nobody to panic. Um, upkeep face. Nothing to upkeep. And my turn. Or no, I do want to. Yeah, I want to eat that fork. Okay, so I'm gonna try to walk these folks out of here. Nope. Uh, shit. We're gonna hunker down. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mark this one as searched. Okay. Um, um, Six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're just gonna blow it on a critical, critical blow. We're gonna blow it on a critical blow. And killer face. He's going one, two, three, four, five. Kill this person. See all that complaining. Look at you go now. And he loved going to Grandma's house. He stood on the porch and rang the doorbell. The smell of snickerdoodles poured out of an open window next to him. She didn't answer, so he rang the doorbell again and waited. He heard a breath behind him and turned around. There stood a tall mongrel of a man, clothed like a butcher and wearing a monstrous pig mask. He held, held a hammer and swung it with all his might. Penny's head splattered over his grandmother's door just as she opened it and his headless body slumped at her feet. Oh, jeez. That's no fun. No fun. Nobody to panic. Nothing to upkeep. So. Because Grandma was just a figment of Kenny's imagination. Apparently. So we're going to do a focus. We're going to burn our clothes tall. And roll a completely different die. That was fired. Oh. <laughs> now we're going to go for a walk. One, two. Let me get these two folks out of here. And take back one time. Because I burned a time walking them there. Save the neighborhood. What? Job done. I'm going to take a short rest. That'll do. And awesome. I don't need to worry about that. Well, now it just comes down to all this. So, um, I think I'm going to end my turn there. Let him come to you. Let him come to me. Um, we're going to take some convinces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because they're cheap. And I don't need them anymore. So they're good burner cards. Such strategy. Take the guard. And a close call. And yeah, might as well. All right. Oh, I did take a guard, right? I do have a guard. Killer's turn. Everybody's dead or gone. So he's coming for me. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to attack me. You just need to go back. This is also like the most I've ever short rested too. The most I've been able to short rest. <laughs> All right, so I am going to retaliate against him. 
just put that card down so I know what I'm doing. He's all the way up there. We're going to play our close call. That's a really good start. Don't need to worry about that. That. So that's why we took those cards, so we would burn them. So reduce damage from attack by two. So that is three damages. Four damages. Good thing for that short rest. And then he's going to attack me again. And I can't do anything else, so we're going to reduce damage by two, which is still me dead. So close. And yet, so, so far. Oh, I forget to do my damage to him. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Not much. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call that zero difference. Zero difference. So no wins this franchise? No wins this franchise. Hans is the supreme winner. Hans is the supreme winner. Well, that was that. <laughs> hey, this one was a little bit better. This one was a little bit more enjoyable because there was a lot more to do. Yeah. And plenty to keep away from him and stuff for a while but equally as hard Let's see what our other items were Let's see if we even had any other decent weapons you did not oh i had a rifle and a machete and a machete those would have both been good but i still don't think they would have made a difference because you didn't really ever attack him i mean it would have helped with the retaliate at least at least the machete I mean, I'm, I don't know. Oh, cannot be used with on an action card. Must be used without one. Spend time to make a horror roll. Because my strategy at the end of this was to do what I could with the pitchfork and then get some distance and use the bow. But the bow only does one damage. Yeah. However, not having any more victims for him to kill, he doesn't keep doing this. So... He wouldn't have healed any. Which I don't think he's had to worry about at all. But No. So, that was Hans. And his meanness. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all of this if you have. Um, check out some of the other ones. Uh, put a playlist or two or some videos up or something. Some of the other ones. Um, nope, nope, nope. Don't forget... After watching this, this is what I've got on the last one. Um, comment anything for us to cover in the wrap up, particularly review related if you can. But we'll try to get whatever questions. I'm also not going to guarantee that I will get yours in there. If it doesn't make sense, I won't do it. Anyways, um, also check out the links, especially the eBay store where you can help support us. And until next time, with roll. I would have laughed if that was all failures. These dice have spin forever. <laughs>